What's going on everybody? This is Bry. So today's July 1st, celebrating my birthday today. I turned really old. So today we're going to be doing a special stream. We're going to be keeping luck score uh, because today we are doing Leap Moon Rising. So forget about the Pogo Mug. It just got rid of all that. Get rid of all the good cards. Uh, and we are going to be running a lot of conjures with the space time. You'll be able to conjure a card. It costs less than you leap it. And, you know, if you get a five cost card and you're playing it for three or four, it still leaps into a six, which is awesome. Uh, there's a lot of really good leapable cards like Brain Vendor into leap on turn three. You can also do the same thing with Gentleman Zombie. Uh, the other cool thing we're doing is sort of ramping to Bad Moon Rising. Now, the, the weird card in this deck is the Graveyard. I want to play Graveyard and teleport in a brain vendor into it so instead of Legends, it giving you the three brains the turn play 30th but he realized being born during pride month is gay so he waited one more day <laughs> uh, we need a leap what? we need a leap thank you so much so the so the brain vendor if you teleport this in on turn four you'll teleport this in to the graveyard turn five it pops out and all of a sudden you have eight brains uh, which is a really cool combo. I want to see if we can pull that off once. I'm just running two graveyards. We have enough environments, and HG anyway is the environment hero, so that'll be cool. Uh, I guess you can put space time into the graveyard too. Maybe even I'm throwing him, uh, so it will be useful. Um, we're running thinking caps not only to be able to give us a little bit of mid game stability. It also works very well with the space time because the powers will cost uh, zero if you have a space time on the field. Also, they sometimes give you cheap summons, like summoning and backup dancers and infinity clones, which will work well with to give you extra value with the Baboon Rising. Let's see how this deck does. Hope you guys enjoy. We'll get right into the games. Uh, I guess we'll do this kind of a joke deck, so we'll do the same boat voting, the betting we did yesterday. We'll say if this deck has to win seven games out of ten in order for it to be a yes, six or fewer is going to be a no. Over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash Fry'em Up. Oh, it's birthday time. Let's go. Um, what a better way to celebrate turning 34 than playing Leap, leap. Baboon Rising. We Come need on, guys. A leap. Heck yeah. Yabba Dabba Do. Flintstone. Is correct. Meet the Flintstones. They're the modern oh Stone Age family from the town of Bedrock. They're a page. I'm going to spare you guys from having to listen to this whole paragraph. I need to put a limit on how many words can be in these messages. It's too much. Thank you, Kimi, for gifting us up to Starch Lord. Heck yeah. Totally deserves it. Alright, let's go. The guy is being super slow. What a great way to start off the birthday stream. Heck yeah, I wanna know. I don't care. Happy Yom who let it. That's how you say it in Hebrew. Guys, tell me how to say happy birthday in every language. Let's see how many languages we can get. So far we got happy birthday. In Canadian, you just say happy birthday, eh? So that's two. Uh, in Hebrew, it's, it's Yom Huled at Sameach. You were close. That's going to be three. What else have we got? Say it and then say what language it is. We need a leap! We need Thank a leap! Thank you, Purple Dingo, for happy four birthday, months. Happy birthday, Fry. For months. Going. <laughs> <sighs> Throwing in. We'll get rid of the graveyard unless we have a brain vendor. This should be okay. Yeah. I think we'll actually spam this. And we'll play the M throwing in inside. Get those teleports going. Herzlikin Glucklunch Doom Gerbert Stag. German. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> to Saskaros. Damn, money. that is such a long phrase. This is a phrase. different account from 048754, but the same person, happy birthday. Oh, thank you. For the five bucks. Turning me into a goat. <laughs> Feliz cumpleanos? Is it how you say it in Spanish? Cool. Cool indeed. Uh, the enthroning have actually goes pretty well here. So, keep that going. I'd love to teleport space time in. You can also, by the way, teleport the gentleman zombie 
into the field. The corner. So we actually don't get the teleport either, it's so annoying. We teleport the gentleman zombie and then it ramps. So that's awesome. How many answers is one man gonna have is the real question. I think we'll go... Yeah, I want to teleport in the gentleman zone. Just got Swabby, the worst thing. Can't even leap it into a two, it leaps into a one. Damn it, Swabby. We got Czech coming in. Portuguese sounds very similar to the Spanish one. Oh, we got Thai? Let's go. Finland? Got it really going on here. Do I? I don't think we leaped it. So he had nothing to plan for, finally, not having an answer. You're completely useless, thank you. Can we get the free teleport? There's Bad Man Eisen. So I think it's gonna be teleport this and leap. Probably like leap the space time and keep the guy alive, something like that. Jeez. Teleport. Maybe I'll just cover my own freeze environment now. Got you going. This makes the Bad Moon Rising really thick next turn. So I'm actually doing this. Heck yeah. Also conjures us an extra card. It could be we'll just get like a zero cost minion. That would be really nice. Oh, okay. The blocks. Eld Milad Sad. Cool. Got Arabic, Greek. <laughs> Very cool indeed. So this brings us to eight. This will st will still be at seven with this one. So this is really these these are really unless he grave flicks us. We should have a really hefty bad moon rising here. Heck yeah! Look at the thick moon right. We need we need a big one. We need a real big one. Mog doesn't do anything. It actually completely wastes Mog. So that's so good. It actually conjures us a card, so the Mog has negative value. Heck yeah. Look at these gentlemen zombies coming in strong. Come on, Zombot. Come on. It's my birthday. We gotta get it going. We gotta really get it going. Come on, man. That wasn't very good. We kill this, though. Actually, while we're doing a lot of damage, we also conjure a, a, a gourmet card from that. That was awesome. All right. All things considered, that was not bad. Down three health. Uh, so this will be turn seven coming up. So we will go for the Bad Moon Rising again. Because why not? Why the hell not? <laughs> Another Bad Moon Rising. You can also go for a double leap. You can't really feel clear. I guess Q could be really sad. God damn it. And. That's <laughs> going for the damage. Cool. Oh, just Bad Moon Rising. Uh, okay, so that's actually hitting us for one. It's just one. Yeet. I think it's Bad Moon Rising. We can leap this to an 8 drop. Eh. Uh, yeah. Let's just go. <laughs> Value? Okay, goes to the strike through lane. I think I'll take that. Alright. Well, the superpowers are gonna save him. Still in bad shape. These Bad Moon Risings are a little sad. Uh, I hope he gets Weed Whack, because then the Gonzola will actually move. Oh, I got Freeze. Okay, so we're gonna... Okay, at least we killed the... 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 the hearted choke. <laughs> I need just a frenzy guy here and we win. Come on, man. One more Bad Moon Rising. One more. One more. Gotta get one more. He needs three damage. Cobb can. We have the teleport. I might go for the win here. Teleport wins. I don't want to win this game. <laughs> These Bad Moon Risings have been useless. <laughs> the chances of us surviving are so low. This just wins. We'll leap something. How about that? Instead, we shall leap. This turns into an 8, right? 
Okay, so let's do leap. Shut up and take my money. <laughs> hey, Fry. Fun to be a hero. Happy <laughs> for the greatest stream ever. Leap. One more leap for Zamba. Play this. And that's the game. The way the game goes. Heck yeah. I wanted another leap though. Thank you so much to what is going on? I'm missing all the things and concentrating on this game. Heck yeah. Play two bad moon riding things and we won anyway. It's actually like a complete unlock. We got like really, really trash. I don't care. We won the game, but it's still nine points of unlock. Garbage Bad Moon Rising. Throw the game on purpose. Nah. Thank you many for 15. Jeez. You guys are so nice. We're one and oh. We got it. You got the chat has to keep track of the score for the bets. We're going for the seven and three. I should have made it just normal. We're gonna kick ass with this deck. Fry, if you could put three classes together, what would it be? So the three classes in this game that would be so problematic are Brainy, Sneaky, Crazy. Because then you're going to be, like, teleporting in a barrel and then making it deadly. There's so many crazy. You're going to be teleporting in a cowboy and giving it a sugary treat or, like, brute strength or something. There's just a lot of... It seems like those three classes would be heavily problematic. All right. So we're just going to go for the Brainy. He doesn't really have a great way of removing this. So we'll go for turn three and we'll, like, just start leaping this game. Nightcap is cool. Test monkey just gifted him one. Thank you. Winning with the trash tag so satisfying. Anyway. Set drop. So I'll probably play this on two and then leave this. In. Oh. Maybe. We need a leap! We need a leap! Hey, Spiritin. Just got gifted from Chumpzilla. Thank you so much. So, I wonder which of these environments I should I should go for. I guess I'm gonna go for this one. We need more cards anyway. And then if he covers the environment, I'll just cover it again. So it's gonna be oh no, I gotta bring that okay. See if we get another brain vendor for the graveyard play. How would I buff Smarty? I don't know. I don't like Smarty, so he actually covers it. So then we cover it. It's going for the admiral maybe or anything. So this leaps, and then we have two more leaps here. So we're coming into turn four with a four, and then oh gosh, this is so good. Pogo! We need a leap! We need a leap! Uh, I kind of want to do the graveyard thing. Maybe we'll play this on the Bad Moon Rising turn. Alright. We need to teleport before we do it. It's the Ligma. The Ligma test. It's just Leap Leap, man. It did not have the Shrinking Violet. Thank God. Thank you. Let's see if we get a... Something better. We are protected! Very cool. Get in there. Emo revamp? I don't know. I think we have room for more emotes, so I I'm happy to switch them if people want to want to add some value. That's very cool. We actually have teleport grave. We can graveyard teleport and and actually do this play now. So I think that's what I'm gonna go with. I really want to pull this off. It's so cool. Then we can actually play like both of these the next turn. See if he has a removal card. It's probably just getting shamrocketed. This is so cool, though. Doom Shroom. That's fine. I'm gonna have that. So the play is Graveyard, Teleport, Brain Vendor, and we're doing the combo here. So this will pop out and give it, unless he Grave Busts it, which... Oh my gosh. Okay, this is insane. This is insane. Now we're getting a really thick Batman Rising. Hell yeah. So this will pop out and give us three more brains. I want to play around Shrinking Violet, I guess. So I'm actually going to put these not in the station. 
We have the six cost Baboon Rising. This one goes back into the graveyard, but whatever. Playing ground shrinking. They see me rolling. We're actually playing the expensive one here too. It doesn't matter. It's frozen. Well, it'll turn back into a gravestone for next turn. So we'll play the seven cost here now. I mean, we could play the six plus the one. Um, since we have two six costers, I might as well play the. Actually, no, I should have played the one first. Whoops, I goofed. What is this gonna be? <laughs> we got three gargs? Nice. Ah, uh, okay, here's this. I should have really covered this environment first. That would be better. Very cool. This guy's doing nine. And now we'll just Batman Rising again. La di da di da. This guy, this just is perpetually gonna be a gravestone. No, don't doom shroom, bro. You're so stupid. God. Lame. Uh, I'll just leap this now. Yeah, we can't even. Well, no. the leap. What's with the doom shrooms? It's not a, it wasn't a really good Bad Moon Rising at all, actually. Another guard turn guard. How many Doom Shrooms can one man even have is the real question. Guard throwing guard is so good. It's lethal and just throws guards around in case blocking it. So stupid. I don't think I Bad Moon Rising. I want the eight drop for next turn. So let's see what we get here. It's Zombot time, babies! Come on, Plank Walker! Yeah! Yeah! Let's go! Happy birthday! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! I think we can teleport this in still. Heck yeah! Oh my gosh, that's so good. That is for real so good. I gotta block the damage. Let's block the day out. Definitely block the damage. It doesn't make a difference. Everything dies anyway. Heck yeah! So here's six. Roll two. Very good. So we won't win. We could get Mog. No, no, don't get Mog. Don't get Mog. No, 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 no. Just, 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 don't get, don't get mocked. No, he didn't get it. Idiot. He mocks the wrong one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the man officially made the fail cop. It's Zombot. He doesn't know. He, how would he know? He's more afraid of this hitting next turn than, <laughs> than Zombot. Pick your Zombot. Just gonna concede out of shame now. Why would you do that, bro? Wrong one. That might have been the worst wrong one in the history of PvZ Heroes. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, we need a block. We need a block. Yes, happy birthday. Yes, happy birthday. I don't care. Heck yes. Heck yes. I don't care. I don't care if Obama made me do it. I'm Bad Moon Rising. I don't even give a damn. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy face. Get him in the face! Heck yeah! Soldier Boy for the win. On heights. Couldn't be more perfect. Get wrecked. Heck yeah. Alright. That that time we're getting 13 points of luck. Heck yeah. We gotta, we gotta get a goal with 2 0. This deck dominating. The all out Bad Moon Rising deck. Mm. <sighs> Wait, where did it go? Heck yeah. Is that the fail comp for highlight? We're gonna go fail comp. The fails are really... Most of the fails are actually highlights, too. How it goes. Man, we can... Can I get 400 people here? The last Heck yeah. <laughs> Q. 
keep it going. I feel like we'll just keep this. Eh, it's fine hand. Let's get the HE Super to start with, get this down to six. All right. Yep. Heck yeah. So I think we play this. We'll save the brain vendor here. It's a lot easier for him to deal with. So we'll just leave this No flippies. Heck yeah, yeah. Um, I wonder if we save the leap, because go to fire Mog will probably hit this. Well, but weed whack. Do we leap this? We can always leap something next turn. I can teleport this and leap next turn. Yeah, let's just keep it. It's getting teleports. We'll see what he, what superpower he has. And if he doesn't actually deal with this, then we'll just, um, we'll just think and get. Look pretty good. I love how we're just always gaining, with teleports, you just keep on teleporting more things in and keep gaining more teleports. That's annoying. Uh, I think we go with this now. I like the extra brains we're getting. Do we get an environment? <laughs> we're back! <laughs> we're right back where we started! Hell yeah! Very cool, we can do the teleport graveyard play. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Maybe we'll we have Bad Moon Rising right? Let's go for the teleport brain uh, graveyard play. We can also, if he doesn't do this, we can just Bad Moon Rising this turn for one guy. We can also teleport... Well, we can teleport space-time. Thinking Cap will also be a play. Alright, let's see what happens. Thank you, Flame P. Thank you, funny internet username. Like the primal. Wow. So we could just Bad Moon Rising. We can also teleport space-time Thinking Cap. Wait, we don't have a Thinking Cap. We used to Thinking Cap already, never mind. So it's gonna be... It's gonna be, well, what is it gonna be? We could just Bad Moon Rising. I mean, it, it'll it kill a 4-5 and draw us another. You know what? Screw it. Bad Moon Rising. That's all we need. Ah, oh, it didn't have 5 attack. Come on, man. That's really bad. Like, actually really bad. But it survived, so it gains us a teleport back. Eh, this is fine. Okay, so now I'm doing Teleport Graveyard Brain Vendor costs, well... Costs a lot. I don't know what the play is here. He bubbles that away. Okay. But this one die. Okay. Let's teleport, see what happens. Teleport. Oh, we have leap though. Oh, so let's leap this one. Yeah, let's definitely leap this one. <laughs> Mechasaur, nice! Alright, GG. <laughs> Drain the brains. Let's teleport Raw Zombie, essentially. So this will conjure another card. And this will get the last card. So we have a full field now. We're gonna get the Brontosaurus to kill this anyway. GG! <laughs> See ya! Got him! Yeah, this man dead, a man dead, dead, dead. Man, getting the Mechasaur from Leap is so good. We're milled, but it doesn't matter. Oh, stop it on, nice. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, now we're getting some plus score. I'll just add 10 points, why not? We do need a leap. Thank you, Schmuggle Doink, for um, yeah, let's go. This guy's subscribing for years. And it also activated the Dino Roar, so even if he freezes this, it still dies. Thank you. Thanks, Obama. So, we can Bad Moon Rising, we can Thinking Cap, we can Leap. I can Leap this to an 8. Okay. I don't care. It's Bad Moon Rising. Any Wait, yeah, we have two. <laughs> That's pretty good. It's about to get better. 
La -di -da -da. This this board isn't strong enough. It's not even close. I think we need to fix the situation. Good old, good old BMR. We can cap laser base. It's not a bad play here either. Bum bum ba dum bum bum. What's in the box? The five minions. Oh, just press the button. Don't be a drama queen. Wow, really building up the tension, building up the building up the uh, the drama to the bad moon rising here. He's just gonna throw his phone into a lake. He doesn't want to deal with this anymore. The the, the dino roar didn't even activate because <laughs> we couldn't draw a card because we're milled. Get lost, bro. See ya. Thirty points of luck, and we're third three and oh man. Get out of here. He's like, eh, actually not. Oh, never mind. We're back. <laughs> the man woke up. He woke up from the slow. Oh my gosh, look at the coffee. Look at the wannabe hero. We got the strike through frenzy here, so that's eight. This will do four and four. We're gonna win just with the just with the invisible, like nothing. I don't. It's just doing random damage. I don't even know. There's nothing here, so easy. Easy. Can't spell Bad Moon Rising without BM. And we just hit Ultimate League. Oh. Happy freaking birthday is correct. That's like literally what I'm talking about. God feast for luck. Thank you, Flame P. Well, it's not a crazy deck, but maybe. Maybe we'll conjure a Garg Feast today. That would be nice. How would how do you conjure a Garg Feast with a huge Gigantagus? There's gotta be a way. <laughs> this deck's 3-0, this deck's game of tush. I didn't I thought without the pogo mug in the middle, it wouldn't be as competitive, but this deck just excels at doing one thing, and that's ramping to Bad Moon Rising. Without Nebula, by the way. We're ramping using Brain Vendor, Graveyard. That seems to have actually been working really well, and then just the gentleman zombie. Alright, so we'll keep one thinking cap. Cool. <laughs> Yay. So how do we get the Optima? We have to really get a lot of value from the thinking cap here. And a rose dies to an empty one. Pretty cool. We also have a ramp. So in order this this costs four. So if we play this, I think it's gonna be next turn. We're gonna play this into ramp. So we just pass here. It'll be 3-4 and play all this. It's so cool how we're just passing. Maybe I'll play this environment since we're not going to really get a chance to play. And we'll stick the space time into it, which is cool. So Brain Vendor, space time. Can't really remove it unless he has like a spring bean or whatever. And oh, we got Leap? We got all kinds of, so we'll leap this later. For now, we get two superpowers on turn three. I think we take those. We'll play this in, in Leap Station. Spike Wee, that's okay. that's okay. This is better than the Leap environment. We can always play that next turn. We might also get a free environment here. Cool. Telepathy. Pretty sad superpowers, not gonna lie. I think we'll save the freeze. <laughs> cool. Three and two. And freeze, maybe? Looks good. Heck yeah. Wow, that's so annoying. The space time dies too. Yeah, I didn't really get a good enough superpowers to get really ahead on that play, but it's okay. This goes here. <laughs> he knows. Completely knows. Lost.
So we could just be thinking cap. We can also go freeze leap. What turn is this now? Turn five. Is there some really creative play we can do? We'll just go for thinking. Uh, just came out to it, yeah. He's, he'll actually move me to the spike lead, which is awesome. Thank you. <laughs> I wanted to cover this anyway. Uh, we'll take the free teleport. Thank you. Thank you very much for doing that. There you go. Wee -wee 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 -wee. So we'll go here. Here. Let's see what we get. Quasard. Take those. I could have played it on top of this. Well, we'll see what happens. We have a lot of options now. We can also just freeze this turn. We'll probably use the brain freeze now. Bruh. That's fine. We have more in plan. So, leap. We will freeze. We will nerf. And then we will it. We still have the deadly, which is awesome. And then Moon Rising's in the house. Thanks for all your birthday wishes. Sorry, I can't read all of them. There's like 400 people there. Nice! Cowboy. I want to be cowboy. Uh, ben Moon Rising looks awfully good. If, if he removes guys, we'll just teleport space time and. Strength the actually if he's shrinking violets, we'll just strength the cowboy and it's gonna do a million damage here. It'll seriously do we'll just strength and pass. I don't even want to proc the block with the space time. That is fine. This is fine. Baboon rising. Hell yeah. Gargolith. <laughs> Garg, so we actually draw an extra card here. This dies. As for tradition, here's a dark Jew joke. What is H. Hitler's favorite drink? Orange juice 100% concentrated. If you want more jokes, just ask. But otherwise, happy birthday. Thank you, Moo Moo, for your, for your jokes. As usual. As usual. Teleport Brain Vendor? Let's see what happens here. We're dominating. I don't know, pretty crappy Bad Moon Rising. I'm taking off points for that one. These Bad Moon Rising's not getting it done. Wow, we have the Deadly. Uh, so we actually need a minion that does more than one damage here. So let's see if we can dig for it. Um, well, we win anyway. Okay, let's look for a Bad Moon Rising. Never mind. I'll change my mind. Mm. Mm. Why not? Why not? Get the Zombot. Oh, nice Gargoyle. Nice. And Deadly. See ya! Just deadly was 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 lethal. That was just BM value. Goodbye, Soul Patch. Moving the trade against Knight feels bad. We don't know what's the better armored seven cost card in this game. All right. I'm gonna add ten points just for getting the deadly superpower, which was guaranteed lethal there. What are we four and zero with this deck? Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Gargologist triplication is so bad. We've tried it, I think, but... Triplication is such a trash card. Even if it costs three, it wouldn't be that good. It costs four. Oh. Disgusting. Heck yeah. Da -da 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 <laughs> I once knew a man with five wieners. His pants fit like a glove. Wow. It would be five legs at least. Why did it have to be wieners? Come on, guys. 
Hey, you're just doing it on purpose, man. Very cool. Thank you, Flame P, for a thousand. Hell yeah. God damn. 34. A indeed. How do we do this? We'll just develop space time. And we'll eat. Yeah, I can't remove it this turn. He can, like, scorch. Like, absorb superpower. I could have started leaping this already. I'd rather be a little more patient. There's better things to leap anyway. Cool. Uh, the thing is, he can't heal. He can't actually heal anything and make this bigger. So, I don't know if he realizes that, like, his catch-up mechanic, or... I guess he can taco this one. Oh, you're annoying. Wow. I guess we'll just be patient here. I'll just think of it. It's a Pepper MD deck. I'm just gonna play patiently. It'll do two damage to me today. I don't care. If he plays in farm and I just cover it. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna pass and I'll just play Thinking Cap and we'll, we'll kind of just be ahead in terms of our hands. We'll have options. We have a lot of leaps. I want to really start leaping with either Brain Vendor or Gentleman Zombie here. There's that. Um, how do we do this? I probably should have played Leap Station instead. You want to really more surprise me. Okay. Let's see what we got. That's so cool. Gondola. I guess playing the Leap Station here is really good. Playing Gondola here, dry next turn is good too. This also sets up the Baboon Rising pretty well. To throw a guy and then leap into a three drop. Come on, man. This guy's got answers. I'm kind of scared just to play the Gondola now. Can I get a teleport? That would be so cool. I just feel like he's gonna squash this, but I might as well try, right? Hell yeah. One more now. Teleport Blowgun Imp. It could be good, it kind of like removes two guys from the field. Maybe Teleport Blowgun Imp is good. I'll write it down. It's it's interesting. I don't know what kind of deck it be. Teleport blow gun. Teleimps. It would be like Teleimps answer to um to like strike through minions because you can start bouncing them off the field and deadlying them. So maybe. Very blessed. Okay, so now we can just leave this. Yep. So it survives. It's a seven drop. It's a very good 7-drop. Heck yeah. Finally getting guards from this. So the 6 to face. Launch in. Pretty good. Could be a slosh. Uh, it's 2 damage. Bullseye. We will take those. Uh, could just Bad Moon Rising here. I guess if he doesn't remove things too much, we'll just Bad Moon Rising. We actually have Bad Moon Rising, then Leap Station. So we can, like, leap the big card. We also just have thinking cap. <laughs> getting ready for impact. The definition of getting ready for impact. <laughs> like, if we get an 8, we can leap that one into a Zamba. Very blast, lame. Scorch. We also could just straight up get Zomba. Is that cooler to get Zomba here? <laughs> straight. I could also just do this in Thinking Cap. I think this is cooler. I don't think the Batman Rising is really. Well, he can block. Eh. Eh. 
All right, let's just dominate. <laughs> Plank Walker, beautiful. <laughs> Yay. Heck. Ah, <laughs> yes. uh, here comes the Zombot with extra leap. Get freaking wrecked. Good boss. People, anyway. Don't even need the Zombot. All right, well, somehow this deck is 5 and 0. Oh. Dominating with the all out Leak Moon Rising deck. <laughs> Yay. Heck yeah. <laughs> this isn't really that good against Solar Flare. It's more good against the Guardian class. We'll see. Let's see what happens. Just gotta like watch out for, I don't know, Haunted Pumpkin. It's really good enough. Cool. How do we do this? And throwing it is not only a good control card uh, against like Guardian and stuff like that, but it's it's it makes minions for Bad Moon Rising. I think it's just teleport uh, chest here. We're gonna play this a little a little safe here. Teleport chest. Which one do we do? We'll probably go after the expensive card. It also becomes a very trouble, obviously. Let's cover that. Really good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, got a zombie. Okay. I don't know what to do with this. It doesn't really do enough here. So sad against Blooming Heart. Maybe I'll like uh, Leap and Teleportation Station. Hopefully, it doesn't just remove this. Uh, I'll probably just Berry Blast this. No. So, I'm gonna be careful with the environment now, but at least we can Leap it. Yes! Okay, so we're not gonna do the, 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 the station. Because then this, this it wins the trade. Really good. Amazing. It's a 4-4 Frenzy that draws a card here. Yeah. And we can, we can start chump blocking the 5-2 now. Just try. Here we go. I'm going to loop this again next turn. Really, really good. So it's going to be just treasure. It just takes resources from the to deal with this. And he'll probably put a small minion in front of the 4-2 and we just leap it again. Maybe not. Scorch. So I think leaping this to draw a card and destroy this guy. I mean, a two drop will have to attack usually. Really? I mean, that's usually so good, but not this time. Come on, man. Okay, so we'll play. We'll we'll play this though. Might as well spend the brain. Thank you, Flame Fee, for a thousand bits. Dancing deck with Bo with Boogaloo. You can look it up uh, if you have a specific idea. I have never tried before. I'm open to this. So what do we do now? I mean, probably Thinking Cap is the most reliable. I don't, really don't want to take this damage again. Most things are good. Well, you know, between all the summonings and the lightning bolts and evaporate, there's going to be something in this Thinking Cap that can deal with the 6 point usually. So, come on. Come on. Just don't give me guards. Don't give me, like, telepathy and just a bonus attack. Okay. That's... Not really good. Okay. Do I have to go for second thinking cow? This game is so weird. I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> I don't have any teleports. Okay, we'll go for thinking cow again. On Savannah. 
We're taking so much damage. Can I please get good superpowers? That were oh my gosh, that basically doesn't get better. We can remove both minions. Including a 4-4. There's one superpower that kills a 4-4. And it is exactly Smash. I really want to draw Teleport Zombot is like our win condition now. Which is crazy. I really want to draw a teleport here. So I'm gonna play Buried Treasure. And maybe Thinking Cap, Teleportation Station Power, something like that. There's grapes. Ugh. So I need to I need to draw a summon. Need one. Dolphinado works. Okay, this does it does six damage. It's rough. I guess we can use this defensively. This is not. This is getting, this is getting insane. Maybe we just need to roll a three and that's it. But we do have a teleport, so we can teleport the imp throwing imp in front of it, and then teleport again next turn. All right, this looks good. And we'll teleport Zombot on 9, or something. Yeah, that blow was pretty clutch. It costs a whole 7 sun for him to play, so he's not even going for it. So happy. Teleport Zombot's gonna get it done here. A squash on a 1-drop. Congratulations. So we will Eureka. See if we get something better to teleport in than anything. Probably will. Teleport. Might as well play this one, right? You. Leap this one so it doesn't die to the block. We'll try to get over two health. Bro, don't feed him cards. Oh my gosh, you're stupid. Uh, I'm leaping again just so he doesn't block and, and kill this because we really want the superpower here. We want the, the teleport. We're getting two health minions though. This is so sad. Oh my gosh. We're now we're milled. We don't even get the teleport. I forgot. We're not even gonna get the teleport now. <laughs> All right. I guess we're just going for Bad Moon Rising. I don't even know what to do right now. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Miscalculation. Severely milled. So we'll have Bad Moon Rising. Can I if we get like a Viking, we can use our super, it'll be really, really good. Cool. So how does this work now? Is the super good? Do we just use it next turn? Six and six doesn't win. I think we'll just use it next turn. Oh, we have Graveyard Zombot! I forgot we have Graveyard Zombot! Well, maybe Graveyard Zombot's not good, though. Now, we're gonna have to go for Teleport Zombot. See, now we're blocking. See, now we're block. Oh, so we could actually play Zombot here. We legit have Graveyard Zombot now. Because if he plays his Grapes... It's gonna block on the, on the burst. Okay, this is fine. Yes, yes, yes. I'm so happy. Guys, it's Graveyard Zombot. It's Graveyard Zombot. It is, it is, it is, it is. The dream, and he has no way to remove it. It's Solar Flare, he doesn't have Grave Removal. No, this is incredible. We got Graveyard Zombot with, with, with Hugh Giganticus. This is so good, this is so good, this is so good. We need the full block meter or else it's Grapes of, grapes of Wrath that's gonna kill us. He does not have a knot. He'd have to berry blast in the face grapes of wrath in order to win here. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's possible. Actually, berry blast to face grapes of wrath is an insanely good play. Oh no, but then we can move it. We have terrify. We have terrify. Chronico. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Hallelujah! Oh, here we go! <laughs> Get absolutely freaking wrecked! Happy birthday! We're drawing all these cards too. We technically conjured five cards because of the king of the grill. It doesn't get any better than that, folks. Heck yes! Heck yes! I'm adding, I'm adding, I'm adding, I'm adding, I'm adding 100 points of luck for that. Screw it. We're at 150. Screw this. 100 points of luck. 
do whatever I want. It's my goddamn birthday. Obama made me do it. <laughs> Promise. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, we would have been milled. Oh my gosh, if he plays Grapes of Wrath. I just realized something. If he plays Grapes of Wrath. Then we don't block because he's gonna be we're gonna be milled. That would have been the fail of the century. I don't care. I don't care. Obama made me do it. Heck yeah, I don't care. <laughs> the stream is definitely going strong. God damn. So we're 6 and 0 now. <laughs> I was like, eh, it's a joke deck, 7 and 3. No, we're literally 6 and 0 with this deck. Conjure Leap is getting it done once again, guys. Yeah, I think keeping one of these in the starting hand in case you start off with HG Super is just so good. Alright. Yes. This is incredible. We're just gonna play both of these. Let's see what if he plays a super pair. You thinking about it? Hell yeah. Because of King of the Grill draw, look, drawing card, I don't know what the order is. Like, the Zombot kills things. I don't know if the King of the Grill would actually start drawing cards before the Grapes of Wrath's ability activates. I don't really know. I think I teleport this. Yep. Let's just teleport in the very treasure. Why not? I'm use anything from doing this. We. I'll probably just play the two cost space time <laughs> instead of the one. We'll go. So cool. We're space time for Yeezus. What do we get? Three cost Cryo Yeti. I guess that's what we're playing now. <laughs> Cryo Yeti on three against Solar Flare. Doesn't really get better than that. Bro, come on. Okay. Then we'll have space time, space time, bucket bin. It's looking pretty good. To something on turn five, and then when rising on six, it's going quite well indeed. Um, yeah, that's crap. Maybe we'll go three one one next turn. I don't know. Also. Yeah, and use Bucket Bay with this to protect, give it extra health. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Maybe Gentleman Zombie Bucket Bay is the combo. Bucket Bay! <laughs> Thanks for the, all the happy birthday wishes, guys. Hell yeah. Keep the health on the crowd, Eddie. It's better than keeping this space in space. I hate to see Cry Yeti on three. It's so strong. It's cool. I don't really like the. Well, I don't really like the second space time. Let's go three. One. And uh, environment. I'm playing Bucket Bay this turn, I don't care. I'm playing in three. Nine. Nine. 
Cool. Very cool indeed. Just means bucket bay is good. We're also conjuring a card here, which is nice. Bucket bay. Don't mess with bucket bay. He finally kills the space time. Wee! It's a five damage and then one in draw a card. Love to see it. Cool. Yes, look at the imp throwing in. It means if he removes something, he'll throw two. If not, it's just winning this trade in, in one. That's fine. It throws two minions. We take the pose. We do do. I guess we cover this now, right? Uh, yep. Yeah. We'll turn him into a great block again. Perfect imp throwing. Is this turn six coming up? Or five? I think it's five. Whee! Fishy imp! Toxic! Yes! What did we get in here? Another imp throwing imp. It won't let me click on this. It literally will not let me click. I'm clicking the comments. Yes! Laser base! On a full field! It like activates the vibe here. So good! See what he got. Just means we have a lane to throw another into. Very nice. I have a ways to get a Oh, we have Bamboon Rising now. It's Turkey Rider. Turkey. We also have like Laser Base Alpha and Thinking Cap and both superpowers. What is he doing? <laughs> I almost want to do this play better. <laughs> Uh, what do you guys think? Bad Moon Rising? Or Thinking Cap play? Ah, oh, we'll do Thinking Cap next turn. Screw it! Bad Moon Rising on turn 6. Plankwalker! Undying Pharaoh! Hell yeah! Plankwalker makes Gondola! <laughs> and Frank is hard to... Just for good measure. So that's strike through. We need a leap! We actually need a leap. He's going... It's like an all-out Pine Clone deck with no Pine Clone. Doesn't even, doesn't even make it go. Come on, leap. We're gonna have to burn this teleport and see if we can, if we can buy a leap here. Gotta get the Zombot. Frankenclaw. He's still making mushrooms though, so that's that's nice. Come on, we need a leap. We need a leap. Any leaps? Leaps? Leaps for sale? We can't get a leap from this, can we? There should be a superpower that leaps. <gasps> Beautiful. Wee. Wee. <laughs> ah, yeah, that's lethal, guys. Pretty sure it's lethal. Heck yeah. I'll just make it 169. Well, that's eight. And, we're eight and zero with this deck now. What's the score? Seven. Is that seven? He did super us in the face. So. Did that just break the shutout? <laughs> 15 health. Give that man a pine clone. For real. Give that man some something that actually does something. Uh, it's a wonderful day for at least one Jew. I know, one Jew. This is a very, very fine day indeed. Hell yeah. Second terraformer in the same game. Is that seven wins or eight? Seven? <laughs> Uh, this is a very good card against him. I wonder if this is excessive. It probably is. Uh, which of well, them are going to be better, though? Let's just say. Alright, that's a cool. So, two, three, four. Beautiful. And on turn one, get garbage. Pretty good environment. Not gonna die. Probably is a happy Jew, that is true. Right, that I think this will I guess we'll do the space time try. It'll it'll end up trading this for better than it too. No need to damage our space time unnecessarily. It's good here. And next turn it's gonna be brain vendor and both environments. It's a thing to do. I like how this oh, that's rough. So I'll get a really big guy next turn. I like how the strike through is going on this one too, and the leap is going on the brain vendor. What you want to see? Here we go. 
Here we go with another cliffy dude. If I do, I show you my deck end the of the Flame P. Uh, yeah, show me at the end of the stream. So we are going to strike through here. Conjure a card. It conjures a card. Also next turn it conjures one. Also keeps out very blast range. And yeah, we're taking some heat, but we're okay. Blockies. Okay, so this will go here. Because we wanna block we wanna play play the thinking gap and not have to worry about five damage. Oh my gosh, got triplication. Very cool. So it's gonna be thinking cap. Wow, parasol to protect this from dying here. Nice. So the thinking cap is most definitely in play. I'd love to see like deadly or something. Well, that's with the third click feed. Jeez. I don't know why he's putting it here since this leaps. This damage doesn't matter at all. Bonus. Ugh. Um. So we could go teleport environment. Or teleport this guy and then do the thinking cap later. Uh, let's play it safe since this game is going pretty well so far. Hey, I got a head out, but I'll ask you for more music. Happy birthday, Fry. Thanks for the Thank fun. you so much, Dedicate. Oh. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. We got two costs. Pretty good. This leaps to a five now. I'm throwing him. Mime Garg. Is there a way to do bonus attacks? I guess we'll play you and then we'll do the thinking cap. We can actually thinking cap and alien news here. I forgot we have brain. Teleporting gentleman zombies cool. This is a really awesome deck in terms of teleporting either brain bender into graveyard or just teleport gentleman. It's just so much value. It blocked the 6-6, six, six, you know, that's all we needed it to do. And it's it's giving us seven brains this turn, so yeah. I can also teleport this onto here. What does that do? That's a really weak. <laughs> the fail! I forgot the mime guard just smacked him back in the face. I love that so much. It's so good. Heck yeah. So these are free. These are all gonna cost less now. This is amazing. Heck yes. So we can actually tell it, well, what is, what's the, is there a play with the secret agent here? This is so cool. Um, we can, we can alien use this one and just forget about the buried treasure. That's probably the way to go. We can secret agent and then play that. We can actually do, I think I will. Well, no, we don't want a secret agent in this one. Do I want a secret agent something here? Uh, this is fine. I guess Meteor can kill this, but maybe the not blocking was good. I kind of wanted to cover this with something. But... Okay, he got the Meteor. Oh, well. We're still way up. Like, way up. Got another card here. So cool. That'll go in the fail comp. I'll we'll just count that as luck. 181. Uh, it's my turn. Hold on. This is not very awesome. I think playing three... This will actually give us... Oh, I forgot we could ramp this turn. Uh, well, if this lives. It's cool. We got nothing. That's nice. Love to see it. Let's play this, and I'll maybe try to remove it, and we'll play the bats. I don't know. Sorry, I just tried to play like that. So much work. Yes. So it's going to be... Bats here. Love to not see it. Teleport. And throwing him. And we'll hope that he doesn't have too many superpowers coming up. I mean, it still lives and throws things. 
All right, we'll try to abandon Rising here, I guess. This repeat moss is so scary because we only have seven health. That's not a lot against Captain. There's Fishy. There's a bat. Kind of bad rising. Gosh, he's actually we're we're procking his blocks so much here. Oh, so that's not good. I'm almost hoping he uses one. Maybe well, well we don't have a gravestone. I guess if he uses one, we'll we'll use the the invisible card. This is still so scary here. I don't know what we're gonna do. I think we just end up losing. We don't have a teleport. Do I bounce this to make the the play less efficient? Is there a something some countermeasure? I guess it's already blocked by one. But the Bad Moon Rising is so sad. I don't think bounce it was. How many superpowers does he have? I don't remember. I think he has a few. I think we bounce this. <laughs> Wait! I, okay, his animation may run out of time, so now he has an open lane, so that just makes it easier, actually. He actually is- it's gonna just be guaranteed lethal now here. I- I was trying to play another card, but it ran out of time. That's so sad, too, man. Uh -huh. Oh! Wait. That's it?! I need a teleport! I need a display of guy here! Is there anything we can get from triplication? It doesn't do anything! Oh my gosh. This will be the game we lose. We'll just be on garbage. I can play these, but I can't do anything here. Alright, quick, escape! Get out! Wait, I thought we were milled already. How many cards do we have? Oh, we, we got rid of the CD. <sighs> Space Cadet would have. I don't know. Just needed one teleport there, we would have been fine. I even wouldn't have played the card, he only had the one superpower. Feels bad, man. <laughs> it would have been better there doing absolutely nothing. Taking a nap would have would have been better. You could have killed the repeat moss with Seeker Agent teleport space I had a teleport though? I don't think I had a teleport. I don't know. Yeah, no, I kinda threw that game. We're seven and one. That was pretty bad. <laughs> Very bad indeed. Okay, so it's Guardian. I'll get rid of one Brain Vendor. Okay, let's go. Hell yeah. Can we, can we play? Oh, I did teleport in the intro. Yeah. Oh, so teleporting, grabbing the spade, or anything. Just teleporting in anything else and killing the repeat monsters to play. Duh. Alright, my bad. I goofed. Rip the tenor now. It's okay. That's just my brain going. Honestly, this is okay. This is just space time controlling a 3 2. We take those. And we have a teleport. Everything's gonna be fine. Come on, Spike Weed. Yes! Playing into Leaf! Come on, partner! Come on, man! Uh, so we get the four drop. Uh, it's good if we have the Imp during him. It's good against Small Knight sometimes. She has a Blouse. Stomp it on? So we can teleport this guy in. That's cool. And it's a 2-4. Bro. And play the graveyard, because I don't care. So let's see if we get a minion on the teleport. Oh my god, what is he doing? 
naked stuff. That'll work. We can brain well. I don't even know what to do with this now. Let's just play graveyard and pass. Yep. Let's just get it. We'll play this here. Now that we dino a second time. Yeah, we're winning. Rawr. One of these. Do we leave something? Should I just play this? For pressure? This will probably be as big as it gets anyway. Pretty good. Score seven in one. <sighs> Very sad. <laughs> Should I do this for... I think we just... I think we just pass here. We'll do it next time. This is better than a 4-drop sometimes. I guess we could leave this. We got Swabby. I'm so happy. We. Teleport. Well. So we'll do something into Baboon Rising. It'll be fine. Bro. <laughs> Teleport. Oh, I've been rising. Um, do we leap this one because it turns into a guy next turn? It doesn't give Dino World. We don't have any minions in our hand anyway. Uh, unplayable thinking cap. I'm just hoping to get like a Zombot or a Surprise Guard or something that gives value. We'll have a four minion baboon rising, so this is pretty good here. In the trade. There's two. It means he can't get the soul patch. Eh, this is fine. We don't really need anything except for baboon rising right now. Yes, another one! <laughs> it makes the baboon rising look eminent right now. And Cobb Cannon? Don't be stupid. <laughs> Well, who is this guy? This man has nothing. He hammers, yay. Only have four minions now. Congratulations, we're getting Zombot anyway. Uh, Chungus turns into Chungus? Very sad. If we roll a one, we win. Nope. Looks like we're gonna have to get another Baboon Rising. So, he'll get us down to 14. Right? The bad one risings have mostly been very sad today. I guess we'll uh, use this and bad one rising next time. Man, he's gonna get frozen. All in one stream, heck yeah. Huh? Does he have the cop cannon? <laughs> nope, he's just feeding me cards. Everything's gonna be fine. Can we get one Zombot from Bad Moon Rising today? Why don't I just get one? Nice Gargoyle, but... Come on! Uh, Surprise Guard goes out of the water. Thanks, Surprise Guard. Thank you. Uh, so this is guaranteed lethal. This is guaranteed lethal. This... is not guaranteed lethal. It's... it's BM value! <laughs> oh no, it is! I forgot this has Frenzy. Uh, whoops. Oopsie, yeah, not playing that card would have been the BM. Actually, no. That's yeah, good. Oh, well. 200 points of luck. And 23 a Michael Jordan amounts of unluck because these Bad Moon Risings. Really, the Bad Moon Risings, the whole win condition of this deck, have been complete garbage for the most part. Where's the 8 and 9 drops? Where's the Mechasaurus and the Plankwalkers? And the Zombots. Come on, man. Come on, man. Uh, that's eight wins. Or oh, the answer is yes. I forgot. The answer was yes a long time ago. So we could have even gone for like eight or nine wins today. The answer is yes. Congratulations, seventy-five percent of you. Before sight, man. What a stream. What a day. What a time to be alive. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
You know how every era has its like it's a time, you know? It's like the Ice Age, the the um, Technology Age, the Communication Age. Today is the Arguing Needlessly on Twitter Age. It's definitely which age we're in. I will play this. Ha. Yeah. So the space time doesn't get scorched next turn. Kinda dies to corn. But... All right, it's Leggy Spam. This will be a Leggy that costs two less. Nice. We just need to find a way to do a bonus attack, and we'll be good to go. <laughs> I guess that's a win. <laughs> so that's nine and one. I'll play one more game. Anticlimactic. Your dad is anti. Your mom's anticlimactic. Top or bottom bunk? I don't know. Bottom one's easier to get into. I'll probably go with the bottom. As long as the uh, bunk bed is stable. If it's not stable, I'll take the top so I don't get squashed. I'd rather squash someone else than get squashed myself. Does that make me selfish? Okay. Alright, let's go. I don't think people are dumber these days. I think that people just have the ability, the platforms in which to express their dumbness. I think that's the key. Too much communication is not a good thing. We were ahead. He didn't want to deal with early leggy spam. I don't blame him. We'll just take that while we have it. It's probably not cycle cap with this card. But let's see. How many dancing cards? It's a 2 cost 3 4, I guess that's okay. Not really. Well, just leap it. It is a leapy leapy boy. Do I teleport it in? Maybe I'll teleport this in so it doesn't get like blasted here. That's good to me. I really want this to live. Alright, nice try. No! So it's teleport and these two, these three now. It's actually running Planet of the Grapes, I'm so surprised. But yes, yeah, fine. The three for one play. Sort of. I've already covered this one. Ah, what do we do? I kind of want to leap, though. We could just go double leap. Alright, let's start off with this and see what we do. Oh no, I can't play this anymore. Six cost plank walker. We take those. Can you cover this environment again, please? We'll probably just leap the space time now. <laughs> Thank you! I really appreciate it. Environmental wars against you gigantic. Good luck. Bro. So it looks like it's like extremely scuffed cycle cap with absolutely no <laughs> I don't know, no astro shrooms. <laughs> Guys, look, we have leaps. Oh my gosh, the leaps are real. The leaps are insane. So we'll give him one of these, and we'll give him one of these. But I gotta save the leaps for the plank walker. Plank walker on six, Zombot on turn seven. Looks good to me. Yes, kill this. Kill it. And that's fine. See, I don't know why he's doubling up against this one instead of this one. Because this just turns, it still keeps a guy on the field. Very weird. Very strange behavior by the nightcap here. I don't, I don't want to win though. I want to play Plank Walker. He's kind of clearing my field. Maybe we'll finally get, for my birthday, we'll get, uh... We'll get Zombot from, uh, from Portal Technician. Still have never seen that in all the years of playing this game. We really run Portal Technician. Swimmer! Okay. 4-1 Swimmer. Could be, could be worse. Thank you, Wheat Woot. Welcome to the Frog Way. Heck yeah. It's definitely Plank Walker time. Plank Walker time. Your mom is fine. La 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 la
Oh, look, we get strike through pirates too. Nice flame face. Okay. <laughs> More cards. Yay. Hey, is this a pirate too? Oh my gosh, guys, look at the pirate set. Look at everything strike through. The man is dead. The man, this is 10. Oh my god, he's dead. Okay, fine, that's good. We still need to get the Zombot, so the more answers he has, the better. I really like the fact we got Regifter. Because, oh, that's all he did. Uh, are we still gonna win? We're gonna be close. Block. Uh, that's fine. Yeah. Free teleports, why not? Yeah, we win. Block. <laughs> we didn't get the Zombot, but it's fine. We take this. Alright, guys. The final score is 269 to 23. A very lucky stream indeed. We technically went 10 and 1. And I'll definitely take it. One of the most fun streams we've had in a really, really long time. Reminiscent of the old school Conjure League. I actually like this better. It doesn't have the Pogo Mug in the middle. And it's like just ramping. It, this deck is doing more fun things than having a stable Pogo Mug backbone. So thank you to everyone who convinced me to take the pogo mug out of the deck. The thinking caps are actually fine. The Ben Moon Rising's again. I mean, they got it done. We, we went 10 and 1 today. So, yeah. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for making this a uh, wonderful birthday indeed. Couldn't ask for more. Uh, we have hundreds, thousands of people here actually in and out. So we had over 400 at one point, which means there's thousands of people coming and leaving. Hope you guys enjoyed. I certainly did. Thank you so much. Peace. This is Fry. Heck yes.